Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this vertical garden letter. I made this for a few members of my family for Christmas presents, so I didn't want to share this video until after Christmas. All the supplies and materials that you will need for this project will be listed in the description below. The first thing I had to do was remove the metal mesh from the front of my letters. They were attached with small staples, so I had to remove those with pliers. Then I realized that there were, of course, stickers on the back, so I had to remove those. Then I moved on with two coats of a dark brown paint. For this project, I'm using chalk paint. The specific brand and colors will be in the description below as well. I found this at Walmart, so if you want to use the same paint, you should be able to find it pretty easily. Then I added two coats of a medium gray chalk paint. I wanted to build up the paints from dark to light. That way it'll give it a little bit more depth and it would make it look like there was a darker wood underneath the paint. Once that gray paint was dry, then I went over with two coats of a white chalk paint. This made the letter bright and crisp. And then once the white paint was dry, I sanded all of the edges to really make the shape pop and to bring out any details that might be in the wood itself. Then I went over all of the faces of the wood to bring out even more detail. It also gave it a really nice rustic look. Once I was done sanding, I spritzed some water onto a paper towel and wiped away all of the dust. Then I let that dry and added my clear coat. I am using a varnish that is the same brand as the chalk paint that I'm using. I really like this brand because it dries just as fast as the chalk paint does, but it still has a wax look. Once the letter itself was done, I filled it up with crumpled newspaper. You could really use anything you want to fill it up. Then I covered small patches of the newspaper with hot glue and pressed in my soil. I continued this method of doing small patches all over the top of the newspaper. If I tried to do the whole thing at once, the hot glue would cool off and set before I would have a chance to put the soil on. You could also do this with liquid glue. I tried it with regular old Elmer's glue and it worked fine. I was able to do all the soil at once, but then I had to wait for it to dry. And I don't like waiting for things to dry, so I went with the hot glue gun route. Once I was done adding all the soil, I tapped it all off to get as much of the excess soil off as I could. Then once I had all of that done, I set up my succulents and rocks in a way that I liked and I took a picture of it. That way I would know how I wanted them when I got ready to glue. Then I just glued it all down like I wanted. For all of my letters, I'm using felt succulents that I've made myself. However, you can very easily find fake succulents at hobby stores and I've even seen them in Walmart. I'm also using various stones and pebbles that I found at the craft store. I'm gluing those on in little clusters around the succulents to make it a little bit more realistic as if it was actually a succulent garden. And that's it. I really hope you like this project. So far we have a lot of these letters sitting around the apartment because we just love looking at them and it's like having actual gardens without having to have succulents that we end up killing because we can't take care of plants. That's it for this video. If you liked how the project turned out, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more projects, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It is a personal goal of mine to reach a thousand subscribers this year, so I really hope you would contribute to that. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.